Hey everybody, this is James. This is Jazz. And this week we're going to be talking about the recent protests on campus. And we have a special interview with Sam Lin. This is TNN. TNN. UCSD's own Sam Lin is an aspiring musician and a talented multi-instrumentalist. He records music for his YouTube channel, which has well over 15,000 subscribers. He is perhaps best known for his work with the violin, having recently won a contest hosted by YouTube star Lindsey Sterling. My dad actually taught me the violin, and you know, I hated it. You know, I freaking hated practicing the violin as a kid. You know, my family—they've all been pretty musical, so I guess it's just—it's in my blood. My, a lot of my buddies, a lot of my friends, like Sam, post some stuff on YouTube, and I'm like, uh, why not? A couple of people watched it. Uh, it was still for fun until I won a big competition back in uh, April and that video has over a half a million views now for me so after that my subscribers went up now I feel like my subscribers are expecting better and better videos every time so I can't I can't be making a, vid a video in my bedroom anymore you know so it's like in terms of evolving you know it's we gotta up the quality every single time so these couple of months gonna be crucial you know I actually got a couple music stuff lined up in Taiwan trying to Trying to meet some more, try to just network, you know, get my music out there. Sam continues to pursue his career in music and multimedia. Be sure to look out for his shows in the upcoming months. Tritons, get pumped up for these upcoming events. The Loft presents Charlie Hunter and Scott Amendola Tuesday, December 5th at 8 p.m. Admission is $10 for UCSD students. Ace presents The New Division on Friday, December 6th at 8 p.m. Admission is $5 for UCSD students. Enjoy a great Thanksgiving holiday, everyone. Live at the scene of the largest UC strike in history. It's going on statewide November 20th. We're out here on a one-day strike um, just to let people know about the intimidation and the harassment that's been going on with UC management and how they've been intimidating workers for speaking up about the sta staffing issues that are going on around campus. Um, and it has, it has to come to a stop. And that's why we're out here. All 10 campuses statewide are out on strike, all of our five med centers. And well with the same message that we need to stop the intimidation tactics from the UC against workers who speak up about safe staffing. Management wanted to know exactly every worker's names who was not gonna come into work today. And that's the type of uh, tactics that we need to stop. It's illegal, the UC can't do it, and therefore they shouldn't be doing it. We're uh, representing the UAW, right? We're all students, we're TAs, graduate researchers. What the university is trying to do to them, they're doing things like trying to cut their wages by 1.5%, and, and there are a lot of other grievances. There's employee intimidation, and, and there are other things. So in our capacity as unionized students, we really wanna draw attention to their struggle and really, you know, kind of get, you know, uh, build awareness and, and kind of help them in their their fight for better conditions. Conditions are really bad. I mean, you know, uh, you're just being asked to do more with less help, and at the same time provide the customer service they expect for us to do. So at the same time, they're treating us very, very badly. You know, intimidating, and at the same time, you're supposed to say, "Have a good day." You know, of course, it pisses you off. Of course, it makes you angry. It makes you grumpy. But the thing is, you know, it's just unfair. So there's definitely intimidation. We have something called uh, principles of community. We're expected to follow the principles of community. Why can't they? The strike lasted all day with marches taking place at 8 a.m., 11 a.m., and 2 p.m. This is the second time in seven months that workers have protested over unfair treatment. Do you want to tell me what your favorite food for Thanksgiving is? No, no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Pumpkin pie and turkey. Uh, pizza. Ribs. Candy DMs. Sorry, I'm late. I'm pretty whitewashed. Ham. Fried mashed potatoes. Just stuffing, actually. Cranberry sauce. Homemade cranberry sauce. Pumpkin pie. The stuffing. It's by far the stuffing. It's not even a question. It's the ham, of course. Stuffing. Well, I don't like turkey or ham, so I gotta go with prime rib. Kimchi. That's it for this week's episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. To see more videos from TTV, check out the links below. We'll be too busy eating turkey on Thanksgiving next week, so... There will be no episode, but we will see you after the holidays. See you next time on TNN. TNN.